paint symmetry and smoothing. Hi guys, today we will talk about another unique brush setting, which is called paint symmetry. This option allows to create a huge range of very different symmetrical images. In a few minutes we will start drawing symmetrical images. But first we need to get acquainted with a parameter called smoothing. I have opened the brush palette, because if this parameter is not activated there, then the smoothing parameter will also be inactivated in the upper menu. So if something doesn't work for you, check if you have this option enabled in the brush palette. Now I have this parameter at zero, and I am trying to draw a certain line with a brush. Look, I get something like this. Any random movement of my hand are reflected in the stroke. And let's compare what happens if you set this parameter to the maximum, namely 100. I draw the same line. And of course it is obvious that it is much smoother. The smoothing parameter also have its own additional settings. It is located here. And by default there is the stroke ketchup mod. It looks like this. Let's compare this mod with the ketchup on stroke and mod. I draw some kind of line. And so, for example, now I am holding down the left mouse button. As soon as I release it, the stroke is immediately completed to the place where I had the cursor. Take another look. Here I have some distance, and it is completed in a straight line. Let's compare it again with the previous parameter. So I turn on stroke catch-up mode, draw a straight line, and look, the stroke catches up with the cursor. Now I choose catch-up on stroke and draw the same line. But as soon as I stop the movement of the hand, the movement of the stroke also stops and resumes after I release the left mouse button, just like that. If you choose adjust for zoom option, the level of smoothing will increase when the image is zoomed in and decrease when it is zoomed out. Let's look at the put string mode. So I activate it. In this case, such a circle appears and as long as I enter the cursor somewhere inside this circle, I can choose the direction. I don't have a draw line. It starts to appear only after I move the cursor outside of this circle. And inside the circle, I sort of choose the direction in which I need to move. This allows you to set a more accurate line direction if necessary. I click again and the circle appears. And for example, I want to set the direction like that. I can sort of aim. And as soon as I move the cursor outside the circle, the line appears. In order to change the direction, I choose the exact direction again, and the line appears after I go outside of the circle. If you choose between these settings, then personally, it seems to me that stroke catch-up mode, which is set by default, is the most preferable. But of course, you can choose the one that is more convenient for you. And now let's discuss paint symmetry in detail. The button that is responsible for this operation is located here, and it becomes active when you select the tools or the brush group. Here we have several options, not even a few, but quite a lot, and let's look at them. Firstly, let's choose new vertical, so that you can see how this operation works. In this case we have a certain axis, relative to which we will draw a symmetrical pattern. And note that we can rotate it, for example we can move the center of rotation somewhere and rotate relative to the center. We can stretch it. That is, we have some editing capabilities. After we have decided on the direction of this line, which will be the axis of symmetry, we can click here and then start drawing and see what is going on. I just move the mouse cursor relative to one side as I want. And immediately a similar drawing appears on the opposite side. After you have already finished and you don't need this line anymore, you can turn the symmetry off and see what you have got. All other parameters of this menu work according to the same principle. The only difference is that you choose in relation to what you will have a reflection of your drawing. I want to say right away that not all brushes will work in this mod. Some particular complex brushes will not work. Let's look at two interesting mods called Radio and Mandala. Let's say we choose Radio. Here we can set the number of segments that suits us. The maximum number is 12 and see what is going on. I will draw the same element so that you understand what the difference is. Look, I am drawing a curve like this right now and I have it reflected in all segments. 
And now we will create another layer and select the mandala and set the number of segments to 10. Here it is maximum. And I will try to draw the same curl. That is, I do the same thing. But as you can see, it is a completely different drawing. It is hard to explain. But I think if you try it a few times, you will feel what the difference is. The fact is that in the mandala mode, this curl that I have drawn inside the sector seems to immediately mirror. In the first case, it was simply duplicated in the other segments. If we go to the puff palette now, we will see all the puffs that I have created in order to demonstrate how the separation works. If we no longer need them, then we can select what is no longer needed and delete by clicking on this icon. And now let's try to create some kind of drawing after all. I will create a new layer. I take hard brush and I choose a mandala mod with a large number of segments. You can arrange this mandala the way you want. That's it. Let's leave it like this. I click on the free space and the overall frames disappear. And I just start drawing such elements. You see what I'm getting. I just draw with the mouse of course. This can be done in a more interesting way if you use a pad. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just drawing and looking at the result. It can be said that this is a completely unpredictable action because it is quite difficult to predict how all this will eventually look like. You can use different colors and in order to edit these points you can increase the brush spacing for example like this and try to draw using these settings. Well here is something like that for example. So I will edit points here. I think you have already realized that this is an existing activity and you can continue indefinitely. That's what we got as a result. Now let's consider the possibilities of creating your own path. Because you don't always want to use the paths that the software offers us. Now we are using a tool that we haven't discussed yet, but we will talk about it in the future. And now we will just make one small simple line with this tool. It will help us better understand the symmetry tool. So the pen tool is here. Select the top one of this group. We put the first point on a new layer. Release the mouse button. We put the second point. We move our hand a little without releasing the right mouse button. That's what happens. And we put the third point. This is our path. If you wish you can edit it. If you take this white arrow, which is called direct selection, you can move these points. Like that for example. And now in order to use this line, which I created as a path relative to which we will draw something, I click somewhere in the free space to leave only the path itself. Then right click and select make symmetry path. I go to the brush tool and start drawing something relative to that we drew. Well, that's what we get. I created a very simple path because we haven't yet talked about the pen tool, with which you can create a wide variety of paths. But if you create some complex interesting path, then of course the image will be more interesting. As an additional material for this lesson, I recommend that you still try to create your own path and draw relative to it. But it's okay if it suddenly doesn't work out. When we will consider the pen tool, you will be able to do it with knowledge of all the nuances. Well, as your homework, you will need to draw something like this. You can choose the symmetry mod that you like best and try to create an image. And that's all for today. It was Peter Romanov and AIM School. See you next time.